What's going on guys again? It's DeAndre at All Clean Power Wash. We got a residential roof wash today, so let's jump right into it. Before we get started, I've already spoken with the customer and stated that I need to do a test spot on this bad boy first. They've already told me they've had it sealed, they've had it clear coated with multiple layers, but I want to do a test spot just to see how the SH reacts to it because I'm going to be treating this entire roof with 6%. And let me tell you, if you get this wrong, this can get really expensive. So I just want to be for sure. But like I was saying, look at this roof, man. The main concern, this is the north side of the house. It had black algae and green crap and moss just in bits and parts of this entire roof. Running all up the side there. Of course, right below that window and that glass and stuff, we're going to keep that rinse, keep everything nice and wet. Yeah, look at that, it's pretty bad, man. Even some of the shingles are kind of lifted. So it's always kind of good to get a little bit of video like this before and after, um, because again, that way you won't be held liable for some of the stuff that was already done. Again, I'm just gonna be hitting the peaks. The goal here is not a lot of pressure, right? We're just gonna be soft washing this. It's all about the chemical letting it react and do its thing to the organic matter. Right here, you can see where it's got some of the moss right here in the front that I was talking about. Yeah, this it was pretty bad on this side again. So north side, it doesn't see a lot of sun. Yeah, just pointing at a few shingles. Even right there, you can see where they kind of lifted up as well getting that documented as well. Again, when a customer reaches out to you and they ask for you to provide them your certificate of insurance before you get started, you wanna make sure you document everything. Here's the back of the house. Obviously, it gets a lot of sun. It's not as bad as the front. A couple streaks running down the side, down the, from the roof right there. Again, I'm going to be hitting this with 6%. Those kind of look like shadows, but some of those are actually algae streaks as well. Um, like I said, not very bad. Again, I'm pointing right there. I'm going to be rinsing the crap out of this thing. I'm not going to leave a lot of chemical on the side of this house for a long period of time. If it was a vinyl house, it wouldn't be a bad thing. Um, I like that you guys show you this, even though I'm not going to be doing a house wash, make sure you guys have stuff like this in your terms and conditions because again, if something goes wrong, you're not liable for that. Here we go, just give, doing some um, pre-rinsing real quick, just getting everything nice and wet. Again, I'm just, you know, I'm still kind of sketchy right now in regards to the, this log cabin and I just, I just don't want a lot of cam on this wood at all, man, I don't, so I'm just being super cautious at this point. As you can see, it's all about just putting the chem down. Not a lot of pressure. Get the chem up there. Give it some dwell time. And obviously, like I said, you don't rinse this stuff off. You know, um, I usually tell them when I get out of here, they'll see a difference. But in about two to three weeks, they'll really start to see results. So again, this is something that you apply to the roof, a soft wash. You do not have to rinse it. This is why we tell a lot of people roof washings are what you want to get into. They're a lot faster than soft washing and the margins are a lot bigger. I went 32 cents on this house. It's roughly somewhere around 40, 41, 4200 square foot or something like that. I went 32 cents. Just spray it up to the top there and just let gravity do its thing. Here I am, you're gonna be seeing me doing this a lot. Post rinsing. Every time I'm spraying chemical before I move to a different section of the house, I'm gonna be spraying the crap out of everything. Uh, as you can tell, we're about 10 or 15 minutes in right now. That moss has already started to foam up and get nice and white, start breaking up. That's how you know the SH is doing its thing once it starts attacking the organic matter and everything starts getting white and starts 
retracting back and just getting bald and real soft. Spray those windows, man. Don't leave any chemical on those windows, especially on this, on this wall cabinet. I ain't leaving no chem on these things. I can't stress that's enough. On a job like this, especially if you're gonna be by yourself, rinse, 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 rinse. You know, normally I could have went a little cheaper than 32 cents, but when you start asking for a certificate, for a certificate of insurance, and it's a law cabinet, I'm not gonna be super cautious. It's gonna take me longer than what it should have. So I'm gonna charge more for that. And if you decide you don't, when you, you go to a different quote, um, I mean, honestly, I'm kinda okay with that too. But anyhow, uh, the back was a little bit tall. I had to brush out the 32 foot ladder there. go of course rinse 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 I got that rinse line I'm getting the chemical off the side of this place man in the windows a um, little bit drop down on top of the hot tub there not a big deal but again I'm not gonna leave that air, that there either I freaking hate carrying this ladder man god almighty especially towards the end of the day that bad boy gets heavier and heavier and heavier go like I said you know you apply your chemical apply it high allow gravity to pull it down I am running the surfactant they have other things that you can use other than a surfactant um, that clings to the roof a lot um, much better than like a normal surfactant like a soap but I personally don't like to use it because when I put it in my tank it's, it tends to stick around for a while and for traditional house washes it, it just takes forever to rinse that crap so again I just run a normal surfactant into and with my SH and uh um, just give, thicken it up a little bit, so it'll cling a little bit better. Now, what do you think I'm doing again? Rinse, rinse, rinse. I'm starting to loosen up a little bit though. Starting out, I was a bit paranoid. I was expecting to come back to the other side of the house and just see like Kim Lime streaks everywhere. Um, as you can tell, that part I hit from the front of the house is already clean. This side has not. You can see the difference there. It's just nice and black there. So, pretty nice little um, before and after. That's before and after. Before and after. Like I said, once you start spraying these roofs, it reacts pretty, pretty quick. Um, obviously, don't forget about your vegetation lore. Um, you know, not just the cabinet, but the vegetation as well, especially when you start using the um, 6%. But again, let's check up on this. As you can tell, things are looking pretty good. You know, it's, like I said, you can see the, the moss all starting to foam up. That was before, before we got started. That's what we were working with. And this is what we got now. Everything's starting to break down nicely. All that stuff. Starting to break it down. Look at that, man. Jeez. Stuff works quick. There's a nice little before. 20 minutes after. I mean, just saying. couple spots that I not necessarily missed I just knew I couldn't get to them from the ground and it was kind of windy like right there I don't want to waste a lot of chemical trying to hit that one spot so these are things that I come back at the end of the job to take care of here's the moss you see how squishy and basically this stuff just coming apart when a couple weeks this was get all dried out and it'd be like a tumbleweed man like the wind when it rains would just knock this stuff right off so there's no need to rinse you can just leave it because it, again it, it breaks down pretty quick but i that's the spot that i couldn't hit from the ground i knew i had to get the ladder 
there's another spot right there that I wasn't able to get. It was quite windy and didn't want to waste a lot of chem. So it should look like every other side right here, that one, but it don't. So again, I'm up there. We're going to drop some chem down on it and then let it do its thing. Well, that's a wrap. As always, I really appreciate the comments. I appreciate you guys subscribing, man. I really appreciate the love. As always, until next time, peace. I'm out.